video, I'm going to introduce the fourth order Runge Kaida method. This is one of the most popular methods that's used to solve ordinary differential equations. And similar to Euler's method and Hewn's method, it solves the differential equation of the form dy dx is some function f of x and y, with an initial condition y of x0 is equal to y0. Now, this method is a the fourth order method, um, which means the error, well, we'll talk about the error at the end, but the error will decrease with the step size raised to the fourth, so it will converge very quickly. And it has a an update that um, has four steps, sub-steps. So the, the update equation is given by the following. So similar to Euler's and Hewn's, the update for x, the independent variable, is xi plus 1 is equal to xi plus h, where h is our step size. Now the update for y is going to be yi plus 1 is equal to yi plus h over 6 times k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4 all times, so oh, I already have the h, so that's all that's over there. So that's the update, and the k's that are in that equation are defined as, as follows. So k1 is given by just the, the right hand side of the equation. So f evaluated at xi, yi, which is the slope at the left side of the interval, uh, similar to the Euler step. So this we could, and then uh, k2 is equal to the slope evaluated at xi plus h over 2, and yi plus 1 half k1 times h. k3 is given by f at xi plus h over 2, times yi plus 1 half k2 times h. So it's very similar to the form of k2, it just has a k3 depends on k2 and k2 depends on k1. And finally, k4 is equal to f at xi plus h and yi plus k3 times h. <coughs> and what are these k's? Well, we think about it a little bit. This first one, k1, is the slope at xi, slope at the left side of the interval. k2 is the slope at xi plus a half, so halfway through the interval. k3 is another slope at x plus x at i plus a half. There's another slope evaluated at the center of the interval. And finally, k4 is the slope at xi plus 1, which is the slope at the end of the interval. Now you put those four slopes together in this uh, combination, k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4, given by the equation at the top, um, that gives us the, the entire wrong kind of method. And um, <coughs> graphically, we can kind of see how this works. If I make a sketch, And on this sketch, let's say we're going from xi to xi plus 1. And in the middle, we're going to have xi plus a half. Doesn't that look like a half? Plus a half. Oh. And we're going to start at uh, some location. So here, this is our solution at uh, xi, yi. And from here, we're going to compute a slope. <coughs> Let's say green, a green slope, which is going to be k1. And we're going to use that slope to get out to here at xi plus a half. And at that location, we're going to evaluate what is k2. So here, we're going to evaluate a slope. Maybe it looks like this. 
the mat slope is K2. Then we're going to use and this line at slope K1. And then we're going to have another line that starts at the original point and comes out to so K to this location. And at that location, we're going to evaluate another slope, say this slope, which is K3. Now that pink line had slope K2. And then with the blue, with the K3 slope, we're going to compute a point that's <clears throat> that's way out uh, near the end. So we have the K3 slope maybe takes us way out here. So this line has K3 slope. And at that location, we're going to compute what is K4, which maybe looks like this. And we put all of those slopes together and we get an update. Let me do it in black which maybe looks like this. And this is the actual new point, which is x i plus 1 uh, comma y i plus 1. And that is our new point, and the slope of this line is, let's call it phi, and that phi is given by this 1 sixth k1 plus 2k2 plus 2k3 plus k4, which is the, you might say, our average slope over this, this integral. And, and that is the uh, fourth order Runge-Kutta method.